Uh, well, I told I told Nelson but, about you. I said that you were a really big fan. He was very happy to hear that. You did? I did. Hello, everyone. Oh my God, who's that? <gasps> Hi, Erica. How are you doing? Wait a minute. I thought there's only room for one handsome Asian guy in this show. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, James. Not anymore. <laughs> You've got my hair and beard goals. I'm just trying to look like you, man. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I can't go anymore. Ridiculous. You okay, Erica? <laughs> I am fine. What's going oh on? Oh I'm okay. very emotional all of a sudden. What's happening to you? <laughs> yeah. Nelson, you made my student cry. <laughs> You're oh. a bad man. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, You're a bad man. Eric, I bet James makes me cry all the time. So I, I think it's... it's, it's <laughs> I want to say thank you for watching. That's amazing. It, be, it means a lot. It means a lot to me. <laughs> it's okay. You take, take, do you. No, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> well, Erica just saw Mulan as well. You are having a killer year, man. You had a, a oh, good oh, Mulan wow. finally premiered. Oh, uh, thanks, thanks, man. Yeah. After a long wait, and meanwhile, uh, you, they finally show your face, and you look like yeah. that. I know. That was that was six hours in a chair for like three seconds. <laughs> wow. And also, I, I wanted guy. to mention- I hate this guy. <laughs> you're friends with this guy, Neil, who is um, Icicle. Yeah, and yeah. I've also He's noticed that, that you shared an old credit with him from the Blade series. This is not your first comic book series. Yeah. So you- Yeah, you no, so Neil and I, yeah. We go way back. He's one of my dearest friends. Um, He's, Who is this guy? Oh, wait, that what's, you keep he, what, about what's he doing crazy? here? This this icicle guy. I know. What is what? What? If, I don't understand. I know. I don't. I don't. Is that him? I don't. I don't know why he's in what's our Zoom. Do you, do you see this, Erica? No. Erica, do you see this other guy in this? Hey, Erica. How are you? <gasps> okay. <laughs> 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 James, what are you doing to me? Yeah, the teacher James said that you were a big fan of the show. So uh, Nathan's a good buddy of mine and uh, asked me if I'd hop on and say hey to you. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, um, what's going on? I, I promise this is it. Just so we, we don't want to Oh my God. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's James with the Hollywood Actor Lab. Today we're going to have a special surprise for one of my students named Erica. Erica is in Florida and we've been working on a superhero genre because there's so many new shows that dive into that universe between DC and Marvel and everything on Disney, the fantasy lands. And um, we were just sort of talking about all the different shows and Stargirl on CW came up and her face lit up and uh, she said it was her favorite show right now and she got really giddy and excited and I've never really seen her get so excited about something and lo and behold, I'm actually friends with one of the cast men members of the show named Nelson Lee. So we have him dropping in to surprise Erica today. I'm very excited for her. Um, she is a terrific girl and um, I think could use a, a little bit of a pick me up. So we're gonna get started, here we go. Can you hear me? Hi, yeah, can, can you hear me? Fine. Yeah, yep. Okay, because I'm using the. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's going. Fine. Good. Good. So uh, you had a little snafu at work yesterday. I had to reschedule for today, huh? Does that happen to you a lot where they suddenly drop double shifts on you? Yeah, yeah, it does. Especially right now because we need people right now. But yeah. um, they're supposed to be hiring people next week, so I don't know. Wow, that's tough. And you've got a lot of responsibility too, right? You take care of your grandmother at home? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wow. Was it stressful? Oh, yeah, definitely. Gosh. And you're working at a, a store? Mm -hmm. Yeah, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we recently just got a new um we recently got a new manager, so she's trying to familiarize herself with the store because she's like new. And yeah. so she wanted us to do like inventory, she wanted us to like just 
to make sure the stars are good. Like, I've been in TJ Maxx's. They're crazy. They're busy and, and madness and just people everywhere, employees com constantly stocking things. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you could be here today yep. and thanks for rescheduling. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun, shall we? I know that you love class, so we'll make today really fun, okay? <laughs> I wanna um, okay. go back, I wanna go back to last week where we worked a little bit on uh, an introduction to the superhero genre. And okay. today's uh, work is a little bit of a follow-up on that and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But um, we, we talked about all the different shows that are out right now where you know you don't have to look like Hugh Jackman anymore, and where you know have giant hulking muscles to be a superhero. You, you can, there's new shows, everything from uh, the New Mutants and uh, Star Girl we talked about, and uh, all these other shows where where just the, the genre is just ever expanding, and there's opportunities for all kinds of actors to be in these shows now, and it's it's a very very cool thing to to witness. Um, I I actually. Uh, wanted to watch something with you. I'm going to pop this up. You you said you're a huge fan of Stargirl, right? Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, what is it about it that you love so much? Hey. Um, just that, like, her, like, the character is a person. Like, she's, like, yeah, she's a high school student. She also, she's also, like, a hero. She just found out that her dad was one. And so she's taking his responsibility, and she's just, kicking butt everywhere. I don't know. I just like her, like her as a character. I love like the actor, so praise her first of all. So. And you're a big fan of the show, huh? Just because it's fairly new. It just premiered a few months ago. And, and mm -hmm. how many episodes yeah. are out right now? Um, I think it's ended actually. Oh, for the season? Okay. And, I, and, I have to catch up. I have to catch up. <laughs> so you're, <laughs> so you're a fan of, of the, this kind of idea of the ordinary girl gets, gets the superpowers? Yeah, yeah. What like, else do you like? She's not. Um, all the villains, like, they're just. Okay, they're evil, yes, but they're really cool. Like, their powers are really, really cool. So, oh, like, funny. yeah, they're evil, but, like, you know. So, I was telling you I'm friends with one of them, right? Um, yeah, yeah. This guy right here who plays Dragon King, Nelson Lee. Tell me about the Dragon King. Oh my god! Uh, when I first when he first appeared, like the first episode I saw him in, and he was just like, and it was really really frightening. And then to like see that it's him, <laughs> he's like, I don't know, it was just so like, well, his, well, daughter, like really, his daughter. This is what he really looks like underneath the hood. <laughs> right. That was, so I was I like scared at first, and then I saw like him, like how him, how he looks, like him. I yeah. didn't even know he was in Milan though. It was really cool. Did you watch Milan? Um, I did. I thought it was really, really good. It was far from like the the, the cartoon movie, of course. Like yeah. all like make main movies like this is. I don't know. People didn't like it for that reason because there was no singing and those like whatever. I'm like, dude, like it's really cool. Like a bird, she turned into a bird. Like this. this. Wow. And I'm. She, I imagine she went through all like a lot of training and everything for that role. Uh huh. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's so pretty funny. wild to get a cool role, and then uh, he—he's—he's he's a good-looking guy too, and he's got to wear a mask all the time. And then he did reveal his mask, and he's like a reptile, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh well, that's awesome. That's, well, I told I told Nelson that, about. It. I said that you were a really big fan. He was very happy to he hear. You did. About it. I did. Hello, everyone. Oh my god! Who's that? <gasps> Hi, Erica. How are you doing? Wait a minute. I thought there's only room for one handsome Asian guy in this show. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, James. Not anymore. <laughs> You've got my hair and beard goals. I'm just trying to look like you, man. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't know anymore. <laughs> you okay, Erica? <laughs> I am fine. What's going oh on? Oh I'm okay. very emotional all of a sudden. What's happening to you? <laughs> Nelson, you made my student cry. <laughs> You're a bad man. No, it's okay. I, You're a bad man. Eric, I bet James makes me cry all the time. So I, I think it's it's it's. <laughs> I want to say thank you for watching. That's amazing. It, it means a lot. It means a lot to me. <laughs> 
She it's okay. You take, take, do you. No, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> well, Erica just saw Mulan as well. You are having a killer year, man. You had a, a oh, good, oh, Mulan wow. finally premiered. Oh, uh, thanks, thanks, man. Yeah. After a long wait. Um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy that it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm glad we finally got him. I wish it was in theaters, but yeah. 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 It's it funny. Been, it's taken so long. When I, yeah, when I, when I did the movie two years ago, I had to wear a wig. And I was proud that I, I was the only one who had real beard hair, but now my hair is as long as it was in the movie. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Erica, you've gotten a whole lot of Nelson lately. You saw Mulan recently as it just premiered on Disney Plus just a few <laughs> weeks ago, and then you're a big fan of Stargirl. So I, I was telling Nelson that you lit up when, when we talked about Stargirl. I was just sort of rifling off of the shows, and, and when that came up, you, you just lit up. I, I, I mean, you're an expressive girl, but I, I've never seen you light up like that. So. Now that we have Nelson here, can you, can you explain to him, uh, you, you were saying you love the villains, he's a villain, you were saying uh, all, mm -hmm. all kinds yes, of stuff. Yes, yes. <clears throat> like, I don't know, usually when um, shows or movies have villains, they're like, kind of, I don't want to say normal, but like, you know, they're just kind of average, but like, what did they, and these, such a DC, like, villains, they're like, just, just insane, yeah. like, crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a next level, and I think it means because Jeff John's a creator and our our boss and my friend, like he's just the coolest guy. And because it means so much, I don't know if you know the backstory about Stargirl at all that he based it on no, his, I don't. his sister, who so she died in the '90s in a in a commercial airline crash, and her name was Courtney, Courtney John, and Courtney, of course, based on his sister. And yeah, so that's why it means a lot to him. It means a lot to us. And I think that's why it has that extra kind of bit of love in it. And it's, and it means so much when, you know, we have this reaction and he would, it's, it means a lot. I mean, I know he would, he'd love it. I know she loves it. Uh, so yeah, so that, that means a lot, Erica. Thank you. But yeah, it's, it, we put a lot of our heart in that. Okay. So uh, just to, to recap, uh, you, you play um, the Dragon King. This bad dude. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and meanwhile, uh, you, they finally show your face and you look like yeah. that. I know. That was, that was six hours in a chair for like three seconds. <laughs> wow. And also, I, I wanted guy. to mention. I hate this guy. <laughs> you're friends with this guy, Neil, who is um, Icicle. Yeah. And yep. I've also He's noticed that, that you shared an old credit with him from the Blade series. This is not your first comic book series. Yeah. So you. Yeah, you no. So Neil that. and I. Yeah. We go way back. He's one of my dearest friends. Um, he's, Who is this guy? Oh, what, that what's, you keep he, what, about what's he doing place? here? This this icicle guy. I know. What is what? What? Is, I don't understand. I know. I don't. I don't. Is that him? I don't. I don't know why he's in what's our Zoom. Do you do you see this, Erica? No. Erica, do you see this other guy in this? Hey, Erica. How are you? <gasps> okay. <laughs> 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 James, what are you doing to me? Yeah, Latifa <laughs> James said that you were a big fan of the show. So uh, Nathan's a good buddy of mine and uh, asked me if I'd hop on and say hey to you. How are you? Good. good. Yeah, um, <laughs> what's going on? I, I promise this is I'm it. Just so we, we don't want to Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> So, Neil, Erica was saying to me, one of the things she loved about Stargirl, in addition to the lead character, <laughs> was that she just loves the villains. And uh, I, I, I would like to know, a little, we, that, that's what we were talking about when you guys jumped in, um, <laughs> totally unprompted. So what is it about these villains that these, these young women <laughs> seem to love to hate, is it? Is, is that what it is? Is it that you love to hate them, you love to watch them, or is it just because they're so darn handsome? What is it? <laughs> Well, it's Neil so yeah. darn handsome. He, he doesn't get, he makes it hard for all of us. <laughs> we try not to stand next to him as much as possible, Erica. <laughs> so Erica, tell me what you were talking about the villains. You've got two of them here. What, what do you want to ask them? What do you want to say? Oh, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> Gotta put on most... oh, right. <laughs> Okay, when preparing for the yeah. uh, roles, <laughs> Um, how do you get into the like that mindset of like how do you get into the mindset of it basically? Yeah, Neil, go ahead. 
Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, you know, I guess it's for everyone is different. It's it's funny. You put on the costumes, Erica, and it's it sounds like a cop out, but it's it, half your work is already done when you put on that outfit, and then you you know, and then you have these beautiful words, and then you step on these beautiful sets. You kind of just have to hit your mark and not fall down. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you try to get into the mind, and we all have these parts in us that think these things. Maybe not evil things, but you know, we have days, and you just try to channel that in. I mean, those sets. I, w I wish you could see that every photo that we've got of them doesn't do them justice, Erica. It was, yeah. especially the, the lair, Dragon King's lair was just astounding. I remember walking onto the set that first time and it was like you were in this massive medieval bank hall. And the amount of effort that had gone in by the, um, the designers and all the craftsmen, I'd say 70% of it probably wouldn't be seen on screen like the intricate yeah. carvings that are in the doors and the way the candles have been dripped down so it looks like there's been years of candle dripping going down the walls. All of these details that went into it, we walk in there with the lines in our head and like Nelson said, all we have to do is hit our marks and not forget our lines and yeah. it's all done by the incredible work of all these other people, which is why it's such a collaborative art. Um, and for me, um, oh, what? What what just happened there? Oh, we're just putting you. <laughs> we're going through your. Uh, oh, you're, you're checking out my yeah. IMDb as well. Illustrious career you've had. I mean, you you are you are a young man. We're the same age, but you are easily what could be called a veteran of film and TV here. I mean, you have some really incredible uh, work, body of work that you 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 accomplished. Wow. So I was just it's, it's, letting the people. It's see one that. of those weird things, James. I'm, 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 I'm sure Nelson will say the same. It's one of those weird things that, like, I feel still still feel like I'm starting out in this industry. You know, I've I've, I've just hit my 20th year of doing this professionally, mm -hmm. and it kind of like you're still scrolling through there. Kind of, it blows my mind <laughs> looking at what I've done and 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 looking at what Nelson's done, you know, through the years. And I think the biggest thing for me is like holding on to that sense of wonder, like turning up on set every day, and just. I'm a boy from Luton who had nobody who was in this industry. My parents didn't know anybody who was in the acting or even in the industry at all, a cameraman, makeup artist, nobody. The closest we had was a, a friend in the village who did amateur dramatics. And the fact that I get to stand on sets, you know, with you know, like costumes like that with Nelson and, and these amazing people, I pinch myself every day that I'm so lucky to do it. It, it the, the the wonder of it is never really lost on me and and the people i think that really succeed in this manage to hold on to that wonder and that sense of play because that's what it is i mean we we, we get to play i got i got, I got given a, a beautiful gift by a friend of mine there's there's a wonderful actor called wayne duval who you would have seen in a whole host of stuff and i got to work with him um years ago and he said I, it was at a point where I was struggling and like auditions weren't coming in as frequently as I wanted them to. And when they did, it wasn't necessarily for the roles that I wanted to go for. And he said he gets so excited when an audition comes in because he gets a chance to act that day. And it shifted my perspective because what I was looking at was I was trying to secure a job. I was worrying about, I want to get my next job. And what he reminded me of, of the thing that I love doing and the thing that I get to do is look at a script and work on a character and then present that character to whoever it is, whether it be a casting director or on stage or whoever it happens to be. And that's my job. If I can walk away knowing I've done my job, then I feel satisfied. And that was this huge changing point for me of just realizing I get to do my job every time I get to act. And holding on to that joy and wonder is, is, is kind of the thing that's kind of get me going through 20 years. I love that. I love that so much. And Erica just finished uh, community college not too long ago, and there was no acting clubs or anything there. So she was a part of starting one with her fellow oh, college okay. classmates, and they started. Oh, wow. That's and, amazing. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. I, I think that's really uh, in line with just saying, you know, if people that love to act will act. People that yeah. have no opportunities to act will find a way to act. Erica works at, at, mm -hmm. at a store all day long. She's taking care of her grandma. And what does she do in her free time? She's taking acting classes. And yeah, it doesn't that's amazing. You have Good to for you. Auditioning and working and booking roles and getting agents. If you're in love with the craft, you just got to take the steps into classes, clubs, whatever <laughs> you can to, to get your creative juices going, right? 
Yeah. Absolutely. It's those things I think people don't realize is, is, is the fact that the amount of work and the amount of passion that goes into following this dream that we have. A lot of people look and they think that succeeding in acting is having this career where you're going from job to job and it's high profile stuff. But I mean, three years ago, a little over three years ago, I was driving Uber and hadn't booked a job for two years and wasn't sure where my next paycheck was going to come from. Yeah, and both of us. Yeah, yeah, and 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 Nelson was the same. And we, I, I remember yeah. when you called me that you got Mulan and we Broke. both both oh, yeah. the tears because oh, yeah. I knew yeah. the journey that you'd been on that got you to yeah. that point. And it's yeah. just about holding on to that thing that you're passionate about and doing it despite what other people might think. I've been told by my family, I know Nelson's the same, I've been told by my family, eh, maybe it's time to quit. Yeah. Maybe, maybe oh, yeah. It's time to hang out the cleats and look for something yeah. else. I'm like, there's nothing else I can do. What else can I do? Exactly. And yeah. you just keep going with that passion. And, and I believe that eventually the universe, the industry, whatever you want to call it, falls in line with that passion that you've got and that belief. And eventually... It, it, it falls in place um, as long as you hold on to that wonder and that passion. You guys have so much experience. I am so appreciative of you sharing it with us today. Nelson, you, you've had a yeah, terrific career. I've, I've seen you at a number of auditions throughout my life and you've booked roles. Yeah, we and, did, exactly. And I mean, yeah, there, there's very few opportunities. So tell me a little bit about um, the experience of Mulan. Was that just like on a whole new level in your experience? I mean, it is, as big as it gets as far as I yeah. can tell. Yeah, no, I mean, without a doubt, it was the biggest thing I've ever been on. And I, I made no, you know, you, you, you just have to just try and stop grinning because it's so massive. Like first day on set, I shot in the throne room and they had literally just finished it. And I, all I had to do was walk. And I couldn't even walk. I was like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> like, it was hilarious. I forgot how to walk. Because, you know, they have a God mic. No one's around you. You're by yourself. They're like, okay, action. You just hear this voice like, okay, okay, cool. But it's amazing. And you just realize after a while, like, okay, this is just like the small thing I did in school. This is like anything. Just, it looks a lot bigger. You, you wow. kind of like talk yourself and train down. And you're like, cool, let's just do it. It's just still acting at the end of the day. And, and yeah, it, but it was amazing. But you have to allow yourself that moment of like, <laughs> like, because if you don't, then it sucks. Like, you know, and I, I, I can, I'm guilty sometimes. Well, like, oh yeah, no, this is nothing to me. And you rob yourself of being able to go like, this is crazy. Like, this is so cool. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I mean, I, when I was younger, I was like, oh, I can't act like this. I was like, what, whatever. <laughs> this thing, <laughs> you know, as opposed to like, you get free food. <laughs> like, you know, in the first night when I was on this set, I was like, I can eat that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, it's just too bad, but it's, it's the truth. You're like, I can take some, but yeah, I know. But yeah, it was amazing. It was such a great experience. So, what and kind, Erica? What kind of stuff did you do with the the acting um, group that you set up? Um, it was a performing art. Well, first it was acting, it was like just drama, and then it turned into performing arts because um, a lot of we didn't have one of performing arts um, club as well. So we just invited everyone: poets, musicians, singers. That's amazing. Everyone was. Doing it. That's so, so cool. It was. Uh, it was amazing. Our first year, like being like a club, we won like the awards. It was like, it was so surreal. Just That's amazing! So cool. Wow, you you won awards for the club for performing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's good for you. That's that's like, amazing. Club, and, club award. No, but I mean, but think about how, how much like a, an outlet that gives to everyone else involved in that. You know, because you're filling a void that didn't exist. That's that's amazing. Well, you did that. You did that in New York, didn't you? I did do that in New York. When I first got out of school, none of us were working. We're all bartending, we're all broke. And we just decided to start our own theater company. We didn't even mean it as a theater company. We got a black box. Our first space literally was us doing a monologue, our friends sitting around our feet. It was that small. And like, you know, we all just be drinking like wine out of boxes and like staring up at the person doing monologue. And it just grew, we had more people and we started doing it every Monday for about six years. Mm -hmm. And we grew into a theater company, we produced plays. Uh, um, yeah, it was, so it was, it was great, but it's amazing because you, we did that because there was nothing. We were like, I'm not acting. What are you doing? Let's just do this. Like, you know, it's, it's like, why not? Mondays are dark. We're like, well, let's just do this. But yeah, it was amazing. It's great that you're doing that.
and I hope you keep going and growing. Thank bigger. you. Yeah, you definitely have to. You start producing your own stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, I have one. I have one last That's question, for you guys. And I want to thank you both so much for gracing us with this this amazing drop in and just oh. sharing your knowledge with us. You guys have so much experience and so much gusto, and just it's it's such an inspiring thing to so many people. And uh, Nelson, you you're from a strange, far away called Canada, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you come from the UK. It's can what can you tell the people about just making that jump? I mean, you you, you got started where you're from, and then you built and built and built, and then finally coming to Hollywood and and making go of it there. Can you tell us like what it was like for you, and and what you might want to give people in terms of I hate the word advice because I don't like giving actors advice people that are going to do it are just going to do it but maybe if you could like <laughs> tell yourself your younger self something like to help guide you along is there anything you would tell your younger self it's, it's a hard one for me yeah. I I mean I've kind of already said it I, I, I had a dream that I wanted to do this before I realized that it was a dream and it was only when I started moving myself onto the path to making it happen did I realize it had already, always been this dream. And the reason I hadn't pursued it before that is I was told by several people that it wasn't a reality, it couldn't happen. Um, no, nobody from Luton would ever end up doing the kind of stuff that I wanted to do. Um, but I kind of held on to that idea and carried on doing it. But I think that somewhere along the way I got a little lost because I was looking so far ahead at where I wanted to be that I stopped enjoying and, and appreciating where I was. And it's that old analogy of like, you know, driving at night, you, you can't see the full road, you can only see where the headlights are and just driving the road that the headlights shine. And that was a thing for me that I'd forgotten to do was just drive the road that I could see as opposed to trying to drive the road that I couldn't see. And once I course corrected and fell back in love with auditioning and fell back in love with, the process of doing it and doing it purely for the love without aspirationally trying to get somewhere things things clicked in my career and my career started moving in a direction and at a pace that that, that that i i loved but that wasn't really the main thing it was more about the fact that I've, i just fell back in love with doing it and doing it for the sake of doing it doing an audition because i wanted to do an audition working with i've worked with friends i've worked with nelson on stuff that no one's ever going to see you know, it, it, it's not yeah. about the audience and the likes and, and, and the, the YouTube views or anything else like that. Just doing it because I wanted to tell a story or I, I wanted to practice something. And the moment I fell back in love with that, then everything fell back in line. And if I could go back and tell myself when I started this 20 some years ago when I first started training to just really enjoy the, the, the process of it, I think that I would have... I'd have a lot less gray hairs and be a lot less stressed, but I would have enjoyed the, the, the journey a lot more. Well, Neil, you are just so awesome to listen to. I could listen to you all day. Thank you for that. Um, it actually that. really, it really sounds like the whole lesson of just what it is to be acting, which is to just be in the moment and not be result yeah. oriented and to just be focused mm -hmm. on the here and now and everything seems to just come together then. It sounds a bit like a, a straight parallel. It's, it's interesting. I, well, yeah, thank you. When, when, I came to, when I came to the States, I, I, I was trained in theater. And so I was all trained about work on it, rehearse it, set it, and replicate it eight times a week. And when I came and started working in TV and film, I would turn up to set with a locked in impression of what I thought the scene was going to be. And I wasn't playing with the other actors. And if the actors didn't give me the feed the way I thought it should be, then it kind of threw me off because I knew I was in a very straight, narrow line. And it was relearning my craft and relearning that it has to be play. It has to be spontaneous. It has to feel free. And it has to feel like that feeling of being on stage when you've done the play for 60 times, but you discover something new and it feels like it's alive in that moment. And um, is the way it should be every single take on set as well. And almost like trying to, not trying to surprise myself, but allowing myself to be surprised by the, the creation that happens in that moment. Um, that's, that's what it's about for me. I mean, that feeling of walking out from a room, knowing that I've created something that, that felt authentic and real is, it's a it's a drug like nothing I've ever had before. That feeling of I did my job. It, oh, it's, it's tantalizing. Amazing. What about you, Nelson? 
Uh, well, tough act to follow. But I mean, I, I agree with everything uh, Neil's saying. But I think for me, it's what I've done myself when I was younger is just patience. Because I think when I came out of school, I was in a real hurry to succeed. And I was like, oh, I need to get that and that. And I, I you know, I, I booked this and I need to do this. And you really rob yourself of kind of like what Neil's saying, like just enjoying the process. Because the process is actually of not working, of all these things. These are things that transform you and inform you of what your life is going to be. Because you're making, you know, you're committing your life to the arts, you know, because it, it's, it's a hard thing to do. And a lot of people don't get that. We are artists. And a lot of that means we're not going to be working, uh, you know, but just focusing on the actual journey as opposed to the end. You know, it's just a, a thing that I did not know, realize and learn for a long time. And it made me super depressed all the time. because so I was like, why am I not uh, doing this? And also comparing, which is obviously the thief of joy. That was always a, something to like just not do because it just kills you. You start becoming competitive with people you're not competitive with. And you're like, why am I doing this? I, I don't care. And, but it's making me feel this way. And once you remove all that and you just slow down, and you just enjoy, it's like, okay, this is it. This is, you know, it doesn't have to be this year. It doesn't have to be next year. It doesn't have to be 10 years from now. You know, when you put a clock on it, I think a lot of times I remember I came out of school, people were like, how long do you give yourself? I was like, I don't know, like forever? <laughs> like, cause I, you know, first of all, I don't have a backup plan. So like poor planning on my part or maybe like genius because there's nothing else I can do. Um, but yeah, no, I was always like, I'm just like, keep, I go until I can't go. You know, and that's it. Um, but yeah, I think just slowing down and not putting this clock on you, it's just freeing and allows you to really understand and enjoy the, those moments of art, like Neil was describing, you know, and, and it's those points are, you can't ever duplicate them. Like sometimes there's moments I've had on stage or after a set or a performance, you're like, God, that's beautiful. You know, and that's, it's ephemeral, it's yours. Uh, and yeah, and it's forever. It's a farm ram forever. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, I feel like I've ruined I think the both exist. <laughs> yeah. Erica, I feel like I've ruined the star no. girl because they're so sweet and nice and kind. Yeah, yeah, they are. No, you didn't ruin it now. No. I know there's <laughs> acting. I know it's just fake. No, they're not really like that. <laughs> you don't get to see these these beautiful smiles on, on screen very often unless they're like twirling their mustache. Right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, yeah, the funny thing is, some of the best the best villains in the world are the nicest guys. So. That's true. Well, I'm like not that. talking about us. Oh, I'm talking yeah. About the people oh, I know. Erica, yeah. <laughs> okay, now that, that now that you have two of these amazing villains on a show that you love, is there anything that you want to you want to let them know or, or ask them? Uh, just keep doing an awesome job, really. <laughs> um, you, well, I want to say thank you. <laughs> I want to say the same to you, Erica. You know, we 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 hopped on because you know. James loves you and Nelson has, has heard a lot about you and I just wanted to hop on and send you lots of love and say keep doing what you're doing. Thank you're you. amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, keep on doing what you're doing because it, it's, you know, it, this is what it's about. It's absolutely what it's about. I'm so thankful to you both. I really, really, really am just so appreciative and it was such a joy to listen to you guys share and talk and I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. Anytime, Jeff. Yeah, it's it's been my pleasure. Thank you so much, James. It's good to see you, and uh, I'm loving your Australian adventures. It's great. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. All right, you guys, be well and great right. Bye. seasons. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Erica. Bye, Erica. Bye. 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 Hi. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you okay? Oh my, that was just wow. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, I tell my friends that like, you were like the best like acting teacher. Like, well, like seriously, I do, I do. Like, you're an amazing. That they student. should definitely like, try a class. Hopefully, they do. But yeah, you know, we'll see. Well, I'm glad we got to do that because like, I, you know, like, I, I wanted to reward you with. I mean, you just got so excited when we were talking about Star Girls. Like, I know somebody in Star Girl. I mean, <laughs> you know, why not? And, and I, it's just, I love seeing you light up because I, I, I know like a lot of times we start class and you just are carrying a lot of stress. You're carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders of just like, oh, I can tell you've had a rough day. And then we start class and you always perk up and cheer up and it's like you're, you blossom and you're just this whole new person. And, 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 you know, even if we're doing a dramatic scene, I can tell you're having fun. And uh, I, I just, I love watching you light up so that even though they made you cry, I could tell you were enjoying it. 
Because honestly, this is like the best thing that I've ever done for myself. Honestly, oh. like finding your page and like emailing you, like it's the best thing I've done for myself. That makes me so happy. And I'm glad that we can work together and, and just do such awesome creative stuff. That really makes me happy.